My name's Andrea Malish. I'm an attorney descendant, and I've made it my mission to educate Canadians about Canada's first national internment operations of 1914 to 1920. We're here at Swansea Point, six mile uh, internment camp at Mirror Lake. And it's a really beautiful spot where families get to enjoy their resort area out on this beautiful beach. It's hard to believe that this was an internment camp. Men were sent out on the work forays, carving the mountainside, creating the roads, uh, in particular right behind me, the mountainside that they carved out to create this highway. And it was forced labor. It was really important to the province of British Columbia that this road work was done. They didn't have the money for infrastructure. They solicited the uh, federal government to have internment camps in British Columbia. 106 of them in the internment camp operations did go mentally insane. And I think it would be a very difficult thing for anybody to be stuck in that situation and not have some play on, am I ever going to be free again? In 2010, the Canadian First World War Internment Recognition Fund launched a campaign called What's in Your Trunk across Canada, asking people to look in their trunks for documentation, anything that relates to the internment. What I didn't do was look in my own family's trunk. So we found my grandfather's passport, but amongst the passport was his Canadian citizenship paper that he received and a couple little pieces of paper that were folded up. These were our, our grandparents' registration cards as enemy aliens and I was stunned. I asked my father, who was born and raised in Vernon, did you, ever, did you ever hear about the internment camp? Never heard about it. I said, you never heard anything from your family? Not a word. I don't know why, why didn't I know about it? Why wasn't it talked about? And then actually to find out later on that it actually happened to my family, I was angry. I was really angry after all that time that this can happen in this beautiful country. I'm dug in to try to help people understand that this is wrong. That's why I make this such an important part of my world, is educating others.